welcome to my channel welcome to um, a new video of darn good yarn now um, they've changed their packaging they have changed how they do things and um, I was into my third year of collecting darn good yarn I may not be continuing I know I have maybe flagged this before um, I do have a box coming for July because or August I thought I'd skip the month but then I skipped the next month thinking that I was skipping two months and I ended up not skipping the coming month don't ask so you're gonna skip one month at a time so I'm skipping next month <laughs> some genius in my local post office area stuck a stupid sticker on the middle of the pretty picture but there is one pretty picture remaining which okay it's not a terrible size box it's certainly not as pretty as the boxes we used to get this is a box that we used to get it's in the picture but this is the kind of box we used to get and it has sheepies inside and they're small not quite cube but they are you know a good size for repurposing or whatever these are not a bad size for repurposing it's plain packaging and it will dismantle so that you can create something new now i hope this is not going to break my ceramic need, um, tweezers. All right, so sticker open, which keeps it nice and secure. Holy cow, I can't. Maybe it goes up. How to open a box in three easy stages. Don't copy Pippa. Okay, this is Nicole's birthday box. She is the founder of Darn Good Yarn. She wanted to give you a special gift, an extra skein of yarn for free. Enjoy and be sure to tell your friends about us. I will. Now, I think I've had something very, very similar to this, if not even had this before. But this is Twisted Rainbows. It is gorgeous. Look, it is gorgeous. All right. It is a sport weight silk yarn. It's called Twisted Rainbows. That has not laminated correctly but that's okay now you get the yarn boxes for ten dollars a month so this is a typical yarn box what's left you get two balls of identical yarn silk let's get that clear it's silk um is going to be in your normal ten dollar box they were doing that for a five dollar thing this is now ten dollars the people who have been getting this all this time are grandfathered into the new two two thingies in a box there is no special gifts going to be happening anymore um encourages you to be artsy and creative these retail at 17 dollars us each this is 50 grams it is 150 yards it's a number two sport fine it is quite fine so this is one piece of yarn on my thumb here okay so it's fine you could do socks out of this and they'd be all kinds of comfy i don't know how hard wearing they would be these take a us 3 to 5 or a 3.25 to 3.75 mil knitting needle 23 to 26 stitches in a four inch knit on your hook for crochet is a four to seven or an e it's a three and a half to four and a half mil crochet hook 16 to 20 stitches for your four inches all right so that's the yarn it is repurposed waste product from the silk manufacturing industry what you are doing supporting darn good yarn and that's my only reluctance is not doing it anymore is you're supporting artisans in india who produce this recycled upcycled waste product from the silk process uh, you will need to scan the QR code let me focus that it will probably scan QR codes are amazing but there is the QR code okay scan that uh, either with Google Lens with a QR code reader if you have the app um, or whatever you have so you get your patterns now 
on the QR code. So it's not coming in the booklet anymore. You've got a bookmark. No, a magnifying glass will not work. So I have to go to this. These are the artisans just showing off the yarn. Quite often what you see in the brochures and you'll need to have a look through the playlist if you want to see the rest. Um, as you look through the brochures, you will see um, the yarn drying in the sun where the dyeing process, you will see the artisans, you will meet some of the creators um, giving these women new enterprises. Itchy hand. So chase down the QR code. You get a knit pattern or you get a crochet pattern. Sometimes they're completely different from each other. Um, now I did learn a trick that if you go on to Ravelry, Ravelry is your knitting crochet resource website for patterns and all things yarny. It's amazing. You can pay for patterns and you can get free patterns. But I did hear, I haven't proven this, but I did hear that if you go on to Ravelry and you enter in the weight of your fabric, of your yarn, and the length of your yarn, it will give you a project that fits. So in this case, I've got 300, 450 yards. I can key in my 450 yards. I can key in my sports weight, my fine, and it will give me a pattern that will make it work. Instead of you going, is this pattern going to work for what I've got? You can actually track down some stuff that will work. And this kind of thing, I don't know if it would work for things like dishcloths because you might scrub dishes too hard, but it would work for a face cloth, face washers. Um, being that it's silk, it will also disintegrate. It's not going to put up with an awful lot of pulling. Like I potentially could snap that by pulling too hard, especially if it's been worked a bit and um, has ended up... Um, What's the term? Not, I was going to say work hardened, but that's the wrong term. But if it's ended up being uh, wet and stretched and all that, that kind of thing, you do have to be a little bit gentle given that it's a natural yarn made by yarn silkworms. Um, you know, it's still silk. It's still soft as anything. Um, but that's Nicole's birthday box. Let's see what comes in the July, August box. August. And um, yeah, as I say, I have skipped the next month, which is September, and I may or may not continue. I kind of like the idea, sort of, of having extra yarn. Um, you know, you can do an awful, an awful lot more with two balls of the same stuff than you can with one. You can get a range of heavy, heavy, um, thick yarn or thin like this, which is much finer. My husband is being slightly boyish. Isn't that what you said? I was agreeing with you. It says start with love and end at amazing. Here. Uh, Rainbow Rush and Colour Crush. Embrace the twisting colours and let your crafting tools be the paintbrush. Your heart will be the guide to what your hands create. Now, I do also have another order. I had club points that I've redeemed. I think I still have a whole load of club points that I could actually redeem. Um, and then just pay shipping on. So I've got a couple more boxes coming through from them and I wanted to use my points before I cancel subscription or anything. There are a whole load of boxes that you can get though of Darn Good Yarn. There are um, Nicole's Choice, for instance, where apparently she just went around the warehouse going, one of those, one of those, one of those, and threw them all into a mystery box. Um, you can get mystery boxes. You can get sari boxes, which is silk material. If you are into quilting, you may want to get sari silk um, and you could make well whatever you can make with fabric um, bandanas you could wear it as a sari skirt if you're not a skinny mini and they're made for skinny minis you can repurpose it into some other fabric I don't know how they work I don't know if it's a wraparound sorry they're not normally you know belted for size eights or anything like that they are basically just sheets and you fit them to whatever shape you are. I think it's the beauty of being a sorry piece of material. So they're all repurposed. It does give the women um, a business and an opportunity. So get on board that if you would like to. Links will be in the description and um, 
thank you for joining me for a darn good yarn unboxing and yeah it is gorgeous the rainbow colors is really really pretty um in this box but as for plans i don't know yet um if it's the one thing i have seen the indians and their colors for clothing yeah uh, it's amazing them and the african women Whoa. they are the brightest colored women in clothing around um I, i'm terrified of color i just i don't do color <laughs> they um they put us all to shame the indians and the um or africans with color and clothes yeah personally i'd go for the more muted autumn kind of colors yeah that's just me <laughs> all right i'll let you go thanks for watching and i'll see you soon bye for now may the road rise up to meet you may the wind be always at your back May the sun shine warm upon your face and the rain fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand.